Today, a burlap wreath, two different ways. The items that I'm using today is a 14 inch wire wreath frame from the Dollar Tree, a pair of scissors, a couple of those plastic twist ties, and your burlap. I used two rolls from the Dollarama. I suggest using a face mask as the fibers in the air from the burlap can tickle your nose. First method, bubble method. I take my wire wreath frame here with my burlap and a plastic tie. And what we're gonna do first is we are going to anchor our burlap to that crossbar and the first wire in. So I take my burlap, squish it together, press it up against that crossbar, and pull through the twist tie, nice and tight, and take off that excess. So what we're going to do for this bubble method is we're going to push the burlap through these spaces in between the wires. So we're going to use the first section here, that middle section, and the third section. So with my right hand, I pull, I sorry, I push the burlap through and I collect it with my left hand. And I'm going to go through the second row as well using the same procedure and the final row pulling through. Now, after I pull through, I squish it down just to see the effect that that makes. And I kind of decide whether I like it or not or whether to pull more through. So I did decide to pull more through as I wanted it to be a little bit fuller. And usually the first and second row, I do do this a couple of times, as you see here, just to kind of get the look that I'm uh, going for. And after I find the look that I'm going for, the first one, I twist it around. And then I start at that bottom row, pushing the burlap through with my right hand, collecting it with my left. And here I am with the second row doing the exact same thing and the third row. And then you'll see me push it together and see if I like that outcome. So I do do the first couple of rows a couple of times, squish it all together to make sure I'm getting the effect and the look that I'm looking for. So here I'm just trying to decide if I like it or not. And no, I don't. So I'm going to pull a little bit more through. And then I'm going to check it. Do I like that? Yeah, I think that looks okay. Then I will just hold with my left and go right to the bottom on the first row again, pushing the burlap through with my right hand, collecting it with my left hand, and then squishing it all together, leaving room to push through more. And once I get the hang of it, and once you get the hang of it as well, it becomes a fast motion, um, it becomes a routine and you get this whole rhythm going and it does go fairly quickly. So again, you're just pushing through with your right, collecting with your left, and every now and then squish it all together to see how you like. And once you've got one section full, you just move on to the next one. And here I'm coming to the end of my roll. So I'm just using that twist tie again and I'm doing the exact same thing for a brand new roll, grabbing that twist tie pulling it tight and chopping the excess off with my scissors. Then I just continue the entire procedure all over again, right until the wreath is all full. And we're coming up to the end. I just flip that wreath over once it's all full. I'm gonna anchor it again with the plastic tie, chop it off and your first wreath is done. Second method, the ruffle method. The same size of wire frame again. And for this procedure, I actually like to unroll the entire roll of the burlap. For me personally, I find it works the best. And I'm just gonna start off doing an anchor at a crossbar, the exact same procedure I showed you before. And for here, for this method, I use the second and the third wire to attach the burlap. 
Now, obviously you can use all four wires if you want, but for myself, I find when I fold it in half, it seems totally to work. It seems to fill it out perfectly is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so here I am, I'm just anchoring my first row onto that crossbar with that plastic tie, pull it tight, take your cutting utensils, chop it off, and we are going to go. So for the ruffle method, how I do it is for the burlap, you essentially fold it in half and the wire sits in the middle of the burlap. So with my left hand, I'm pulling through and with my right hand, I'm gonna guide it around that first wire. So again, starting off, folding it in half and left hand holds it while the right hand guides it through. So those two ends meet, that wire comes in the center and then all you do is you pull and collect with your left hand and guide it with the right. And you know what? You're going to see the wire in the beginning a little bit. That's okay because once you get enough to fill it up and once you get that second row going, you're not going to see that wire anymore. So you just keep pulling through until you're happy with the look. And once you're happy with how it looks, you just continue on with that other section and you just keep pulling and pulling and pulling. <laughs> I'm almost complete now. And when you do that first row, or when you're finished that first row, you're just gonna move on to the other wire. So that'll now be the third wire from the inside that you pull through. Now I don't anchor it when I go to the second row. That's my choice. If you wish to anchor your first row, by all means go for it. Just grab that twist tie and anchor it. But when I continue on with my second row, I just keep going. I don't really anchor it at that point. And again, you're doing the same procedure just on the second wire where your left hand pulls through, guiding it, and your right hand kind of folds it in half as you go. So we're gonna start with our second roll. And it's the same procedure as before. You just kind of fold it in half, right hand guiding it through until you're all done every section. I have filled all my sections and now I'm going to use a plastic tie just to anchor it down at the very end. I'm finding that crossbar and that uh, third wire in from the center. And here I am fiddling around with that plastic tie because it doesn't seem to want to work today for me. <laughs> I just pull through the burlap and pull it nice and tight, grab my cutting utensil, chop it off grab my scissors, take off that excess, flip it over, and then I'm gonna give it a really good fluffing up. So there you go. Your ruffle method complete, your bubble method completed beforehand. Two wreaths you can use anywhere. Thank you for spending time with me today. And if you liked today's video, please hit that like button, that notification bell, and why not leave me a comment?